Yo, what's going on everybody this is going to be a quick tutorial on how you guys can add custom cars into your 5m server now before we get started i want everybody to know that ever since rockstar acquired 5m adding real world brands or copyrighted material into your server gives your server risk to get shut down a lot of new servers don't know this and they add name brand things and then 5m shuts down their server so keep that in mind if you want to add name brand cars and name brand things that is your risk you are taking but i'm letting you know now if 5m finds out about it they will shut down your server so be cautious of that when you're adding any kind of clothing cars or maps into your server with that being said let's get into it so first things first you're going to need to actually find the cars you want to add into your server a really good spot to find some nice cars is going to be gta5mods.com now there's also people who sell actual high quality cars and if you're making a car pack or something you may want to go invest in a nice car pack that a car developer actually makes just giving a little bit of advice for bigger servers but if you're just looking to actually test and add some cars all you got to do is come to gta5mods.com go to vehicles and they have all kinds of different vehicles in here as you see they have the ford ranger you know raptor 2019 um they have all kinds of different things Things. but what we're going to be looking for in particular is going to be either add-on or replace and hopefully with the name 5m so there's two ways you can add cars you can either do replace which is going to basically replace an in-game car model or you can do add-on which is going to be adding it on and it's not going to replace any car models this is important because if you're going to be wanting you know npc cars and those kind of things and you want the normal gta 5 cars you're only going to want add-on cars if you start replacing cars then it may not work as well so if you start replacing cars, it's going to end up replacing the actual GTA 5 cars themselves. And NPCs, if you have them, may start driving around the custom vehicle models, which is good for more serious servers. Maybe you want NPCs to be driving real car models, but just keep that in mind. Add-on is where you're adding on the car. Replacing is where you're replacing the model of the specific car. So in today's video, we're going to be just maybe adding this Lamborghini. Let's see if it works. So we click onto it. We have add-on this and template we're not going to care about template template is going to be something like customizing the car i'm not a car developer i don't know how to actually customize cars but if there's something you guys want a tutorial on i'm sure i can figure it out and let you guys know as well so all you're going to do is just scroll through this list and so one thing you guys can also do when you're looking for these cars is you can actually search up five and vehicle models and it should tell you the cars that they're going to replace so this is going to be the car we're going to be adding it's going to be a pegasus servo wide body uh lambo it's going to be an add-on for 5m it's got tuning li uh, liveries and when it has liveries, what that basically means, it has things like this. When you're doing an add-on car, sometimes they may not have all of this stuff. That's why I recommend you guys buying a high quality pack. Because you buy a high quality pack, it's going to come with cars that already have all kinds of, you know, add-ons to them. Like liveries and, you know, uh, spoilers and all that kind of stuff. Just keep that in mind. You're adding cars. Some may not come with spoilers and different liveries and things like that. Just... A, a good little note again i want to make this very clear if you add real world brands into your 5m server 5m can shut down your server so that is always a risk so if i were you i would look into getting some non-copyrighted some uh lore friendly gta 5 vehicles for your big 5m server but anyway let's get into installing this so the first thing we're going to do is hit this little download button here and we're going to hit download again from there we're going to basically get the a little file here a little zip file after you open the zip file you are going to see two folders in here you're going to see 5m and single player obviously we're going to be opening the 5m we're going to open this and as you see everything came correctly and ready to go right it already gives us a stream folder and our files in here are already ready to go so basically this is 5m ready okay so i'm gonna I'm also gonna teach you guys how to install a non 5m ready vehicle but just keep in mind that this is 5m ready so this is literally drag and drop simple if i were you keep it simple just find 5m ready vehicles and drag and drop them in you don't have to go through the whole process of what i'm about to show you but let's say you really find a car you want and it's not 5m ready let's dive into how you guys can make that 5m ready okay so the one that we're going to be downloading and making 5m ready is going to be this 2007 thomas whatever whatever it's basically a big school bus this this is the one we're going to be making 5m ready so let me show you guys what it looks like when they're not 5m ready so in order to make things 5m ready you're going to want to go to the open iv website i'll leave a link to this in the description below um all you're going to do is hit download now and you're going to walk through the steps of downloading open iv it's super simple you're going to need to find your gta5 directory and put it in there and if you don't know how to do that if you're on steam if you're on steam what you can do is go to your steam library you can scroll down to gta5 or whatever game you need to find the directory for right click on it manage and then hit browse local files once you hit browse local files it'll open up your direct directory to 5m all you need to do is copy that and that'll be your directory in order to open 5m and to find the gta5 directory for open iv so with that being said once you have open iv all installed you're ready to go we're going to go ahead and open this for windows obviously if you're in a different operating system we're going to want to click that but typically we everyone's on windows from here we're going to want to hit edit mode once you hit edit mode you should if you don't already have a mods folder all you need to do is go to your gta5 directory and make a new 
new folder in here and call it mods as you see i already have one in here but if you don't already have that just come into your gta 5 directory which i already showed you how to find with steam if you're on a different platform you need to google that specifically and then make a new folder in here and call it mods once you do that you're going to be able to come into here and you're, what you're going to want to do is find the 5m card that you want to make 5m ready right so then we're again we're going to have two uh two files here we're going to have a dot rpf and a dot xml file so we're going to drag these onto the desktop just like this from there we can close this and what we're going to do is we need to drag both these files into open iv so we're going to drag this into here and drag this into here so once you have everything dragged in here what you're going to want to go ahead and do is open up the dlc to rpf file once you open up that you're going to see all these different ones are going to want to go into is the x64 levels gta 5 and yours may be a little bit different because depending on the actual car itself it may look different all you're going to do is basically follow the same directory go to x64 levels gta 5 from here there may be different folders open up every folder and everything you have in here you're going to want to make a new folder on your desktop and call it whatever you want the car name to be then you're going to want to go into that folder and make a new folder inside of that called stream from there what you're going to want to do is just drag every single file you have into this folder so again we just did that there so now we're going to go back and we're going to go back again now we have vehicle mods let's open that let's open this okay this is empty there's nothing in here so we can go back 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 and now what we're going to need to do is that is all of our stream file after that we're going to hit this little button here and we're going to go to this dlc to rpf where then we're going to go into the common folder once you go into common we're going to hit data and then from data as you see we have all of our dot meta files which is how the actual vehicle handles it so it'll tell you how to you know how the car is going to drive and those those, those kind of things so we're going to go ahead and drag those into here as well from there you're going to want to just check everything else out we can just drag in the vehicle layouts that meta we can go into level gta5 we can also drag in the vehicles that meta and there we go. So now we have every file extracted from OpenIV. So again, we have our stream folder that's going to have all of our stream assets right here. And then we're going to have all of our dot meta files, which is going to be how the actual car runs, right? Once you have all your files in here, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to go ahead and go up here to view, go to show and make sure that you have file name extensions enabled. If you do not, you're not going to be able to do this properly. If that is enabled, what you're going to do is go to new and you're going to create a new text document and you're going to name this FX manifest dot Lua just like this you need to make sure it has dot lua then you're going to hit enter and you're going to hit yes then you should be able to open this if it asks you what you want to open this with you're going to want to get visual studio code to get visual studio code is very simple just type in visual studio code and download it or you can just uh, right click this and you can just hit open with and open with like a notepad or whatever you want to open it with your text editor now from there what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go down to the link in the description where i made a pastebin for you to make this as simple as possible and all you got to do is copy all of this uh data in here and then just paste this straight into this now what this is going to do is it's going to be loading all of your vehicle stuff into the actual server itself it's telling 5m what to stream and what to run so instead of you having to write this out by hand, I will leave a paste bin down below. Go to the paste bin, copy, paste very very simple but again if you download something off the gta 5 mods website 5m ready it'll already it'll already have all of this ready for you and you won't need to do any of that you won't need to make an fx manifest you won't need to make a stream folder you won't need to have open iv so if i were you just stick it stick to keeping it simple find a 5m ready car and then you know it's going to be more simple doing that so what we're going to do is we're just going to drag the 5m ready car straight to our desktop like this and we're just putting them on our desktops for now so i can show you what they look like so now we have both of our cars right we have the school bus and we have the lamborghini so in order to add these into our actual server uh if you watched our last video is we we set up a ESX server. If you haven't watched it, make sure you guys go watch that. I teach you guys step by step very simply how to create a 5M server. So from here, you're going to want to go into your resources. And this is where you can basically make it anything you want. But personally, what I like to do is I like to make a new folder in here and I call this stream. Now, the reason I call this stream, and this is going to be all of our add on assets. So that's going to be our, our cars, our clothes, our maps, and so on. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to hit new. And I like to call this cars because again, this is where we're going to store all of our vehicles or our cars or whatever like that. So then we're going to open this. And all you have to do is just drag all of this straight into here just like that it's very simple to do it's very easy to do and again you can name this whatever you want you can name all your files whatever you want it's for organization purposes but personally i have to put everything in stream stream will have cars maps clothing then we're going to have cars we're going to open cars and this is where we're going to drag in all of our cars you can also rename this to make something to keep it more easy for organizations you can maybe name this lamborghini or anything like that but typically you're going to want to just keep it what it is especially if it's already the car name for the spawn code which we'll get into in a second from here what you're going to want to do is just copy we're going to copy the actual folder we stored in which is going to be stream for me once you copy that name we're going to go right down here and before any of this right we can actually remove all of this what this is doing is starting our resources what we're going to do is go ensure and we're going to paste the stream file you're always going to start your stream files before everything else because that gives it time to load i'm not 100 percent sure if that's true but that's how i've always done it it's what i've been told to do because it loads everything beforehand so uh start your stream and then start everything afterwards stream being first so ensure stream you can also go through and ensure every single car you add but again why would you want to do that just add the whole category of the folder here so everything gets started under the category 
Okay, from there, we can go ahead and start off our server. If you, again, if you watched our last video, you can go to artifacts and find fxserver.exe and open it there. Or you can simply just open this .bat file and that'll start your server. Okay, so now that we are actually in the server, we can actually go ahead and test the vehicles out and spawn them. So the first one we're going to be testing out is going to be the Lamborghini. So to figure out what our spawn codes are for the cars, what we need to do is go into our resources, stream, cars. You're going to want to go to your cars folders. So again, we're going to be doing the Lamborghini first, which is this one. You're going to want to open your stream file. And from here, you're going to see a whole bunch of different, uh, you know, y yft files you're going to want to look for the one that's just basically like this right you're not going to want to want one that has underscores or anything like that so as you see all of these have underscores so those are just going to be liveries or liveries whatever you're going to call them to the actual vehicle so we're going to be looking for this one right here so we're going to copy this from there we're going to just basically do slash car and paste and there we go as you guys see we now have our lamborghini well i don't even know if this is a lamborghini i think i just lied to everybody I don't know what this is, but as you guys see, the car that we actually downloaded from GTA 5 Mods is now in here. Um, you know, it drives, sounds amazing, looks good. And so, again, this is the one that was 5M ready. It was super simple. All we had to do was literally download and drag. It was very simple. It was not too difficult to do. And it, like I said, it already comes pre-configured for your 5M server. So, if you're new or you just don't feel like doing all the other work, just download the 5M, you know, 5M ready cars. It makes everything a lot easier. Now we're going to be testing the bus. This is the one that we had to go into OpenIV and actually download all the files for. So it's going to be the same kind of aspect. We're going to go into cars. We're going to go to school bus this time. Or we're going to go into stream. Once you go into the stream, you're going to find the same exact thing. This one doesn't have any other add-ons to it. So we should be able to just go ahead and copy this straight name from here. Come back into the game slash car paste and boom. Here is our school bus that we added into the server. So again it's honestly pretty simple and straightforward to add cars into your server it's not too difficult at all but if you want to make the process even simpler just keep it simple and start adding the five and ready cars and again this is your last warning that if you add any actual copyrighted material into your server it is at risk of being shut down so just keep that in mind when you're adding things whether that be clothes uh cars or maps anyway if you guys did find this video helpful and you guys want to see more videos like this make sure you guys subscribe where i make almost daily videos here giving you guys step-by-step -step guides on how you guys can do things for 5m last video we explained how to actually build a server this video explained cars next video is going to be how you guys can add maps into your server make sure you guys subscribe peace out